Hi everyone, I just moved for college, so I'm filming in my new bathroom and today I'm going to do an updated skincare routine. Um, it's more like a night routine. I'm going to remove my makeup and then show you guys the whole process of cleansing, putting on moisturizer, and then going to bed. So let's get started. It's a little bit of a mess right now, so please understand if you see like clothes hanging here and there. So first, I'm going to remove my makeup and I got a new makeup remover. Let me show you. I got this milk cleanser from Skin Food. I really like this one because it's gentle. Uh, but the downside of it is that because it's gentle, it doesn't remove your makeup super easily. Like I know some other removers remove like your mascara in like seconds, but they're also not the best for your skin. So I tried to find the healthy balance between removing the makeup well and being gentle on the skin. So I'm just gonna take my cotton pads. This is called a milk cleanser, so it really looks like milk. It doesn't smell like milk though. I like using two different cotton pads, one for each eye. So I just like place it on my eye like this. And then I usually like to wait for like 10 seconds or longer just so that, you know, my mascara, my shadow and everything can kind of melt so that I don't need to like rub and irritate my eyes. Yeah, that's very bad for your eyes. Like if you keep rubbing, you can get wrinkles. So I just repeat this process until I don't get like the black mascara. And then I don't like to waste my cotton pads. So I put like removers around these empty areas to clean other parts of my eyes. I just put some over here and then I like to fold them like this and then make sort of a pointy end and then go through all of my eyes and then I use my pinky to lift up my eyelid so that I can get all the eyeliner and mascara underneath my lashes it really takes lots of time to completely remove your makeup and that is absolutely important because if you leave stuff on your face through your eyes that may not seem obvious at first, but if that accumulates over time, it's gonna be very bad for your skin and also for your eyes. So just be careful and cleanse thoroughly. I also take the remainder and then like erase my brows. For this area right here, I might use this to erase my lips. I usually fold it once like this and then to the other side because this side is white you know you can really do a lot with just one cotton pad we're now ready for cleansing so as always i remove my base makeup and the remainder of my eye makeup and lip makeup with oil cleanser first um, and that's just to make sure everything melts and it also helps like remove blackheads um this is actually from korea but i don't think it matters too much which one you use it's very important to pump it lots of times I usually do like five pumps, but you can definitely do more if you have heavier makeup. If you have lighter makeup, I would probably do like three or four times. And that's so that like when you roll this on your face, it doesn't create like friction on your face. Remember to erase every part of your face that has makeup and my neck too, because I usually put like some sunscreen and a little bit of foundation on my neck as well. And I also take my fingers and like place them on my eyes for a couple seconds so that it can completely remove my eye makeup especially mascara because mascaras are sometimes hard to remove and under eye too and then I do hands also because I put sunscreen on my hands now I'm gonna use my foaming cleanser and I just like to finish my cleansing routine with my foaming cleanser because first, I love the texture of the foam on my face, like it's so smooth um, but at the same time, it cleanses like everything really well but it's important to remember like not to use a really irritating cleanser so I got this Dr. G foaming cleanser the good thing about this cleanser is that it's very very hydrating I prefer to use a lot so that I can make bigger foam and that means less irritation on my skin so I just create foam when you do this like make sure you have your hands washed because yeah you're gonna be touching your face a lot I'm gonna cleanse very gently I look like a ghost I mean, feel free to put more water um, right now. I don't want it dripping on my face. That's why um, I put only a little bit of water. I focus a lot on my nose 
as well as like my chin area because of the mask i tend to get like acne over here so i take like extra care and like roll these parts more thoroughly i want to show you guys the face mask that i recently started doing it's not a regular face mask it's called a modeling face mask let me show you right now so it looks like this it's actually a powder and i only got this for like eight dollars just think about it regular face masks like sheet masks cost about a dollar each right if you do it for 30 days it's 30 dollars but for this you can use this for more than 30 days and it's only like eight dollars so you know if you do the calculation it's very very economic they even sent me this really cute bowl in like a mixer thingy so it kind of feels like baking you really just need like a full cup um, I think it's about 50 milliliters, so I'm just going to put it right here. And then they recommend the ratio of powder to water to be like 1 to 0.8. So I'm going to put about like 40 milliliters of water. It's very important to be accurate with like the amount of water. I'm going to put water in here and just mix everything together. Don't take too much time mixing this together because it's gonna get hard so you know you want to put it on your face while it's still soft. I got mine from Korea but I saw some on Amazon so they're not hard to find. Okay and I'm just gonna put this on my face quickly before it hardens. I'm still not really good at putting this on my face. I saw some professionals doing it and like it looks so nice and smooth but I'm not at that level yet. Fifteen minute has passed, so I'm just gonna peel this. It's really fun. It's typical to not have to cleanse your face afterwards, but I'm probably gonna have to like go wash the remaining mask because my skills are just not good enough. Since I'm done removing the face mask, I'm gonna put on some lotion. I got this new moisturizer from Korea. It's called a Hydra Soothing Cream um, and this is perfect for summer because it feels really light on my face yet hydrating. I just like to put it evenly onto my skin. Don't forget your neck. Spread it. And, like try to lift up your skin instead of like doing this. It breaks my heart whenever I see people do that. My mom does that, like she like rubs her skin like this. Please don't do that because it's really bad for your skin. Okay, and now I'm just gonna put my lip balm. It's from Uriage. If you watched my last skincare routine video, you probably saw me use Papa Cream. This is like my go-to for winter and like fall, spring, and kind of like dry weather. But I think for summer, this stick type is also good because it's a bit more dry compared to that one, but it's more lightweight. So that was my updated back to school skincare routine. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.